Syrian rebels packed this vehicle with explosives and drove it into the last remaining military checkpoint in Idlib's Khan Sheikhoun, an important road link between Latakia, Hama and Idlib. We cannot independently verify these pictures, but the fighters say it took them three months to take over all 21 posts of the Syrian military. This barricade was liberated as we planned a suicide attack. We detonated a car bomb on the barricade. Our fellow Mujahideen managed to advance and seize it. Fighters say the government dropped bombs filled with chemicals after its forces were defeated. In recent months, Syria's government has been criticized for bombing opposition areas with concentrated chlorine. The regime forces tried to cling on to these areas, even dropping aerial supplies. The rebels haven't been doing well in recent months, as government forces make gains ahead of the presidential elections. And President Assad's few remaining friends are predicting a win for him at the ballot box and on the battlefield. Syria has remained solid. The thought that the other side will be able to carry out a real and definitive win has ended. But for thousands of Syrians, this is the daily reality. A continuing civil war with no real end in sight. These are the scenes of more fighting in Aleppo, a stronghold for rebels and the government on either side of the city. Millions have been displaced by the years of fighting and many don't think the upcoming elections are the solution. The elections are illegitimate. I don't consider it legitimate because most of the people are displaced. They are left illegally or they are wanted. Those who are not wanted from the regime are wanted by the fighters. My vote can't make any difference and I don't want to vote for anyone because what will happen will happen. Back at home, the rebels are struggling to maintain control and civilians in many areas are besieged by government troops. And even after wins like this in Idlib's Khan Sheikhoun, the opposition remains bitterly divided on what to do next. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.